If you are worried about what your kids are being taught in school, our next guest says you should be. He says some textbooks out there are filled with outright liberal lies. Larry Swikart is the author of 48 Liberal Lies About American History that you probably learned at school. Professor Swikart joins us live from Dayton. Good morning to you. Hey Gretchen. All right, so you've done a tremendous amount of research, Larry, and you've come up with 48 liberal lies in textbooks. But today we want to talk about the actual names of the textbooks that parents should be aware of. So which ones are they? Okay, so we're going to name names, right? All right, uh, first one is the American Pageant. And this one's been around since, well, I used it when I first started teaching. That shows you how old it is. I think it's probably in its 13th edition. Okay. It's written by a couple of uh, what we would call New Deal liberals. But as they got on with each edition, they started to get more and more shrill. And if you look at the Reagan years, uh, they are particularly bad when they start talking about the Reagan economy deficits and debts and and the numbers are actually badly badly distorted and in 48 liberal lies I actually have a chart where I compare the real numbers against the charted numbers that they have in American pageant okay also we have nation of nations yeah nation of nations is a very high selling textbook probably I would guess in the top five you know publishers keep these numbers very close to the vest but I'm betting it's in the top five a lot of my colleagues use it um, it's particularly bad, again, in the Reagan years. Uh, they credit Gorbachev with ending the Cold War. He was dismantling the evil empire all by himself without a push from Reagan. Interesting. Uh, Star Wars, they say, didn't work, despite the fact that we are <laughs> deploying it now and that the Eastern Europeans are begging us for it. And, and okay, so when parents are out there, they got enough to worry about these days, quite frankly. Uh, so when their they kids do. bring home these textbooks, how do they know? How do they know? We're going to list them on foxandfriends.com. But how do they know what their kids are actually learning? OK, well, as I told Steve on Tuesday, what I call the pregnancy test for these textbooks is you go to the index and look at the Reagan pages, uh, where you're going to see bias most easily and quickly is in the Reagan sections. And, and that's really all it takes. You can figure out right there where a textbook is headed. All right, Larry. We got to wrap it up there, but if people want more information, they can go to foxandfriends.com because there's a whole list of books. We only talked about two of them, but there's more than just two. Thanks a lot for joining us. That's right.